Hi friends, welcome back to another video with me. My name is Cotton Candy Doll. If you're new here, welcome, welcome all. <laughs> Hi, this is a shifting video. So guys, a lot of stuff happened. I actually have so much to tell. First, you might hear noises in the background. It's quiet this morning. Maybe there won't be any laughter. <laughs> um, so I'm going to tell you guys what happened. I have been struggling a little bit with my lighting. My other light blew out this morning. I plugged in and it was like, poof. So uh, I had to get a new one and I don't really like it. It's like a white light and I don't like it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to jump right into what happened. I want to keep this video short, but it probably won't be short, guys. Honestly, I haven't done a long video in a really long time. I actually explained more details in those videos, and that's why they were longer. So I think I'm going to explain the detail a lot more in this video. Cringy? Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, I don't think this is a really cringy video like my other ones, so it's not going to be crazy. Or will it? <laughs> I don't know. What's, what's defined as crazy anymore, guys? I have no idea. All right. So I'm going to jump into what happened. As you guys know, I went back to the My Hero Academia universe. My goal was to keep Frodo because Frodo is, I'm keeping him now. I have my own apartment for him. So I went there and I set everything up for him. And so like, I got there early. Hawk said he'd be dropping him off in an hour. And so I arrived at my house. I want to give you guys an idea of what my house looks like more because I, you guys basically have like this dull image of a small apartment. The studio so the kitchen has black and white towel it reminds you of the classic retro kitchens from like the olden days <laughs> so one of those kitchens um and then i had so the, i have like the marble top okay and it's like basically like a bar uh like a bar top okay so you can sit on the other side of it but it's pretty high and usually when i put frodo in the living room i put him in the middle so that wall is covering, so I can't really see unless I look over the wall. So I have to kind of walk up to it to look over. The floor is not carpet. It's a white tiled. So that way, if anything spills, I can easily clean it up. Frodo has a chair, a high chair that's against the wall. Um, I didn't really know what color to get, so I got him a blue one. It's got like, a, it's blue, like blue, powder blue. And it has a white... Um, he has like a little white table for him for like the boot and everything. And um, I have a couch. Um, and then my TV is against the wall. It's on this side against the wall. And then there's a room. My bathroom's over there. And then the room is over there. The one with Frodo. Or the one. Frodo's room, basically. Because my room is out there in the, in the area with like the kitchen and all that stuff. So Hawks drops Frodo off. And he goes, I'll be back later. I kiss him on the cheek. I give him a hug. And so like the hug, he kind of like brushes against me. And he like, he's like, I didn't forget about what you did. And I like kind of grin. I'm like, hmm. <laughs> too bad. You know, you deserve that. You did. I don't care. So anyway, I take Frodo in the house and I'm like, I sit him in the high chair. Because I'm like, you know what? Let's do something fun, Frodo. Frodo looks happy. So I kind of take his hands and I clap them together like this. And he starts clapping. And I'm like, yay. So he still has his coat and everything on. I didn't take anything off. He's sitting there. And I go in the freezer and I start taking out like the frozen fruits and vegetables. And what I do is I wait for them to thaw a little bit and I give them to Frodo. Because I want to see what Frodo likes and what he doesn't like. This is a good way to test what he will and will, won't eat when he gets older. But also at this age. And when he gets older, older, like a teenager or like a man, when he becomes a man, his opinion of other stuff might change. But I just need to see for myself what my baby likes. So first off, I give him a pineapple. He kind of like, he has it in his hands. First, he's squishing all of this stuff. And I'm like, so I have to like kind of put it on his mouth and kind of make it, make him like kind of kiss it. Because that's how you, you kiss it. You, what do you do? With vegetables, for kids who don't want to eat vegetables, instead of having them, instead of trying to make them eat it, you have them do is kind of kiss the vegetable 
and when they kiss it, they'll get the flavor on their their lips. So I kind of did that, and with the pineapple, he opened his mouth, he ate the whole thing. He was kind of like it was kind of squishing around in his mouth, and um, I took it out with my I, t- I, w- I reached in his mouth and I took it out because I didn't want him to choke on it. I did the same thing. I used carrots. I used broccoli. Frodo does not like carrots. Frodo doesn't like broccoli. Frodo doesn't like peas. Frodo doesn't like green beans. Frodo Frodo doesn't like lettuce. He does not like spinach. He is... I can go on and on. He likes almost every fruit, though. But I had 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 a success, okay? The fruit. Um, I gave him tomato. He loves tomato, guys. Like, he bit it and it went down. He didn't... Well, he didn't bite it. He doesn't have teeth anymore, but... He, like smooshed it and it went all down his face and he was like smiling he seemed to be really enjoying himself <laughs> and it's me it was kind of creepy it reminded me of like blood running down and i just wiped it off or whatever he's super cute i just took it off i just took like all the stuff off his mouth and um i put away the tomato i put away all the vegetables i put everything away and you know, it was on Frodo. It was in Frodo's mouth and stuff, but I was just like, whatever. I put it in the refrigerator because you know what? It's healthy. He can eat it later. I can eat it later. It doesn't matter. It's my kid, so I can eat after him. For you know, I thought of making a really good soup anyway. <laughs> a really good soup with Frodo. So I got Frodo undressed. I fed him because I had got, already got his bottle. I already got all his stuff prepared. So after cleaning up his mouth, you know, getting all the. Ugh. After getting all that from around his mouth, I laid him down for, you know, I laid him down for his nap. I gave him his bottle. Frodo fell asleep. So he's sleeping. I brought him in the room. I brought him in, in his uh, his room. He has, like, his crib and everything in there. I laid him down. And the thing is, like, now I can go in and I can check on Frodo. He's not going to wake up. He feels that happy, healthy, um... He has that security now that he feels like he can sleep. To me, that's awesome. I never thought, like, for a second, like, that Frodo would ever get used to people. And he's gotten so used to us. And I don't know how long Frodo was supposed to sleep. I think they I think they said his new nap time was, like, four to five hours. Before it was, like, two. So it kind of increased. Frodo is official five months now. We have not had a party for him yet. I want to do a party on Twitch. I don't know about doing it on YouTube, but the problem with that is that every time I try and schedule it, my my work schedule changes. It's always changing. And because of that, I can't make... I want to make the schedule for Frodo's party a week in advance. But I can't do that if you guys keep changing it every day. If my, you know... My schedule keeps changing every day, so it's kind of like I make a plan and then I have to cancel it or I have to. So until things get straightened out, I really don't want to throw a party, um, a virtual party yet. So my plan is to eventually do it. But we probably won't do a, a celebration for this month. We'll probably do one for next month, I'm guessing. Anyway, back to, <laughs> back to what happened. So Frodo's in his room sleeping. So I turn on the the TV, guys, and I turn it on. I turn on that little creepy show with the the faces. I'm not really watching it. I'm kind of just relaxing in the couch. And I start to doze off. As soon as I start dozing off, guys, I get up. I start making coffee because I want to be awake for Frodo. I know work has been beating me up, but you know what? I have a kid and I have to make time for him because he's the most important thing in my life right now. So I'm making the coffee and stuff and... It's not done brewing. I go and I sit back on the couch. Then I lay on the couch. The next thing you know, I'm falling asleep. I jolt out of my sleep because the person on the TV, the okay, it's not on the same channel anymore. And the person on the TV is kind of yelling. So I turn it down because I feel like it's too loud. You ever feel like something is too loud? It might not actually be that loud, but you think it's loud, so you turn it down. I turn well, I turned it down. And then I turn back to that channel with like the weird Kelly Tubby things that the one that Frodo likes. And I'm laying there and I'm starting to fall asleep. And I have my coffee here. So, guys, I wake up because I feel someone touching me. 
and open my eyes and Hawks is there. So Hawks is staring at me. He's on top of me. His hand is like here on the side of me. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, hi. He's like, hi. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I said, Frodo's sleep. He goes, I know Frodo's sleeping. I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to get up and he says, you're not going anywhere. And I'm like, what? He's like, this is the only way I can get you back for what you did. Frodo is sleeping, so you can't make a sound no matter what I do. I'm like, uh. He goes, do you really want to wake him up? I'm like, no. So then he starts kissing my neck. And then he's like, he goes down my shirt. And then his hands go in my shirt. And he's like rubbing my nipples and then he starts moving lower. And I'm like, we can't do this right now. Frodo is sleeping. He goes, shh. He's like, shh, you're going to wake up Frodo. Don't make a sound. Guys. So I'm so glad I wore grandmother, grandmother panties that day because he took them off. Okay, he took them off. Put those in his pocket. And then he continued on. You guys know what happened, okay? You guys can guess what happened, okay? He was like in me and he was like thrusting and I was like <laughs> trying my best to be quiet. I was like covering my mouth. So then like it got to a point where it got to a point where I was already like I was like on the edge kind of. I don't even know how I ended up like that, guys. I ended up sitting on him. So I was sitting on, I was sitting on him. Okay, so I told you guys what kind of couch it was, okay? It was basically like a day bed, but it's couch, okay? It pulls out into a bed because it's basically my bed at night. Because the whole outside part of my studio apartment is my room. So bathroom, Frodo's room. There's the living room stuff, the window here. And then my day bed couch thingy right here, okay? So we were like completely naked and I was, so I was sitting on, I was sitting on Hawks and I was trying to like move, like trying to regain control because it felt like I was losing it. And so like, <laughs> okay, so the angle he had me at, yeah, I know. I did say, did I tell you guys this video, the video was, wasn't going to be cringy or it was? I can't remember. But I was sitting on, so I'm sitting on him and I'm sliding. It feels like I'm going to fall. Naturally, I try and catch myself because I'm like, oh crap, I'm going to fall off. You know, I'm going to fall off while he's, while he's, you know, in me, while he's like penetrating me, you know, while he's like doing it deeply and I'm going to just fall off of him because it just feels like that because I keep sliding. And I'm like, I don't really want to fall on my floor. Because I haven't, have I fallen on the floor? No, I haven't fallen on my floor. I know I've eaten off my floor yet <laughs> already, but I haven't fallen on my floor yet. And it looks like it's going to hurt if I hit it. And my bed is not, my, my bed slash couch is not really low to the ground. It's kind of up some. <laughs> I did it that way on purpose. I wanted it to be off the floor. I have a fascination with, 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 uh, you guys can't see my bed now, but I have a fascination with heights, sort of, with being up in high places, okay? So I'm sliding off and Hawks, he doesn't let me fall. He grabs my, he grabs, he, you know, he assures me, he's like, Cotton Candy Die, you're not going to fall. And I'm like, and I keep looking back and he's like, he, he makes this noise, he makes this mm, kind of noise. And he pulls me onto him and he's like, I'm like, what? And he like, so I'm, I'm on top of him, like riding him. But then he like turns me over and he's like, you need to learn how to give up. You need to learn how to give up control. You need to learn how to trust me. Did you really think I was going to let you fall? While we're like this, do you think I was really going to let you fall while we're intimate like this? And I'm like, and I didn't have words. I didn't have, 
I was like speechless kind of. He caught me like off guard. And I didn't know what to say. And he's like, you can say whatever you want. Come on. And I'm like silent. I'm just like, I didn't have any control anyway. He's like, what kind of response is that? And I feel like I kind of made the situation awkward. <laughs> fuck was I supposed to say to that okay I don't know what to say anyway he continued um for like three or four hours he straight up like just owned me and there was nothing I could do I couldn't make any noises at one point I got so loud I tried to cover my own mouth that wasn't working so he covered it for me and then so afterwards I was like in the shower and I heard Frodo and then I but then I heard him he went over he got Frodo. I'm like, oh, he's getting Frodo. Because I have... <laughs> so I don't really have to look at Frodo while he's sleeping. I have baby monitors, too, set up in my house. And um, the baby monitors actually look like girl monitors because they're white and they have, like, a pink little... They have a pink dot and the antenna is kind of pinkish and it's fat. The radio's not big. It's, like, this small. So monitor, radio, kind of the same thing, but I have it set up, like... I have one in the bathroom. <laughs> I have one in the kitchen. Because those are the only two places that's technically my room. I didn't put one in. I put, well, the one in Frodo room, there's one in there. But I didn't put one another one in there. So I have one. How many do I have? One, two, three. Yeah, I have, I have like three baby monitors in there. I don't have a camera because that's just overboard. Like, I'm not going to be that protective of him. Or should I? Because I feel like enough stuff has happened to Frodo already that I should be more cautious. I don't know. But I can hear um, Hawks in there singing him, and it just, it gave me a warm feeling. So it gave me a really warm feeling, okay? I come out, come out of the shower, I change my clothes and everything. And, you know, of course I don't have underwear. And Hawks just goes, well, I'm going to take my leave now. So he goes to the door and he pulls them out of his pocket and he's like this. He's smiling. And then like he's smelling on them and I'm just like, son of a mother. And he leaves out. So Frodo is in the high chair and I, I take his hands and I clap them together. I'm like, yay. So then like I go and I try again. Maybe Frodo will have a different outlook if he gets his vegetables and fruits after he's had his nap. It's the same result, guys. Exactly the same. He's in love with the tomato, but he hates everything else. He even hates lettuce, guys. Peas, lettuce, carrots, broccoli. Nope. Forget it. I wonder if he would like lima beans. Probably not. He probably won't like beans. I think I want to try that next time and see if he eats it. Um, well, He does like applesauce. Applesauce is useless to him, though. <laughs> So for Frodo right now, I think we're just going to stick to his regular food. I do want to throw some red, some human, some normal stuff. So that way when he does get older, when he, when he joins the other kids his age, he can actually sit at a table and eat food with them. And he's not like, you know, out in the, out in the woods grabbing like rabbits and ripping their hearts out and stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's not all that happened, guys. Okay. This is not all that happened. Hawks came and picked him up later. Okay, he was all dressed up and everything. He's like, I have to go to the school. I'm going to drop him off at Endeavor. And I'm like, okay. So he grabs him. He goes, how long are you going to be here? And I'm like, oh, I'm getting ready to leave soon. So, but really in my mind, I'm like, I need to see Toshinori because I haven't had my time with him. Now I can have my time with him. But if I've had his time, my time with Hawks, I feel like me and, me and, um, me and Toshinori need to become closer again. Like, I feel like we need to, like, I don't know, like, I, we're not drifting apart, but we're not exactly together. And it feels like, it feels like, um, we need to talk or something. So, he, he said, how long are you going to be here? I just figured, you just tell him, you know, um, I'm getting ready to leave soon. It's going to be fine. So then I leave out of there and I go to Toshinori's house and I knock on Toshinori's door. 
because I'm like, I can talk to Toshinori. Um, we can have a nice conversation. We can get things off our chest. I can apologize. I can say, you know, I'm sorry for thinking that maybe you didn't care for Frodo, about being Frodo's father. I had no idea. I just want to tell him everything that I had bottled up inside about my feelings for him and Frodo. And basically just tell him that it's okay because I was the same way. So Frodo, um, Frodo was with Endeavor and apparently Hawks had to go to the school. So I'm knocking on Toshinori door. I'm knocking, knocking, knocking. He doesn't answer. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess he's not here. So I'm like, hmm. So I'm standing in front of his door. I'm just walking back and forth. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the school. So I decided to go to the school. Um, I knew there, would be, there wouldn't be anyone there, but I knew Hawks was there. And I thought, you know, if he's there, maybe Toshinori is doing something at the school. Maybe he had like a project or something to work on. How long is this video? I told you guys this video was going to be a little bit long. I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so I go to the school and I walk in and every it's just like I said, like there's no one there. All the doors are locked. Um, the lights are kind of off in some areas. Some some of the um, the classroom doors are closed. The principal office had the light on though. And like, so I went over to the door and I looked in and it appeared like they were having a meeting. So Principal Nelson was in there, Ms. Galizawa, midnight. Um, who else did I see there? Toshinori and Hawks was in there. There was another person. There was someone else, and I don't know who they were, but they were in they were in the room. Why don't I know them? They were like a new teacher. I've never seen them before, okay? I'll describe to you what they look like. So red hair. Okay, long, really long, red hair, black suit, black tie. Basically like a professional teacher, okay. And then they picked up glasses and they put them on. But this is a guy, yeah. So he's talking to them. And then I'm just like, who is that guy? And I'm like, I guess he's like, like I said, a new teacher, someone I don't know. Someone I've never seen in my year academia, okay. So I walk past the room. I'm just like, I'll go, I guess I'll go just wait in my classroom then. So I go and wait in there. And then, you know, in the next few minutes, guys, I get up and I leave out. And so Toshinori and Hawks are sitting in the office. So I come in and I sit in between them. And Toshinori is like, kind of handy though. I've missed you. And he kisses me and I kiss him back. And then, you know, Hawks is like, um, I had a nice time this morning. And Toshinori looks at him and he's like, she was with you this morning. And he's like, yeah, she was. And he goes, hmm. And I'm like, what? What is it, Toshinori? You can tell me anything. And Toshinori is like, I want to say something to you, but. I don't want you to get angry with me and I don't want you to think that I don't care. <laughs> so I go, what is it? You know, you can tell me anything. And he's like, I, I was happy that I was so happy that Frodo wasn't with me because I felt like I'd be a really bad father to him. I feel like I'm not really a good guy sometimes. And I look at Toshinari and I'm like, you're always a good guy. You save people's lives. That's why I fell in love with you. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to admit something to you, okay? I did not fall in love with Toshinori because of, just because of his looks. Yes, I love him. I'm attracted to him. Yes, yes, I think he's uh, Yes, I think he's yummy delicious. But if, if um, not Frodo, if Toshinori... If he, even if he was in his small form, if he was to like shift to his, not shift, if he was to change into his small self, I would love to see him that way. And I felt like I need to address that to you because I told him, I said, I fell in love with you because I basically just told him everything you told me. I told you guys and I told him that, you know, 
And I said, I feel like we need to become, I feel like we can become closer. And tells you, he's like, that's what I wanted to talk to you about, Cotton Candy Doll. And I go, what? And he's like, well, Hawks and I, we both love you so much. I was like, I know that you love me. And he's like, we think it would be a good idea. And I'm like, well, you think what would be a good idea? You guys know where this is going. He was like, I was thinking we can have a threesome. And I'm like, I'm like, what made you think? Why do you think that? Why do you think that would that would be? And he's like, I would have loved to be there this morning when Fox is with you. I said, I also had Frodo with me too. And he's like, I want to see, I want to see you quake under him. <laughs> oh, why? You see me quake with you all the time. And he's like, I, I think that would be really interesting. He's like, I think it would be too. So they're both like touching my hair. They're like, you know, basically just like groping me and, you know, at the school. So I told him, I said, you know, I'm not really, I said, you know, I'm not really okay with that. Don't do that. And he's like, I didn't do anything. I just touched your hair a little bit. And I said, and you're touching me too. I said, you both don't have to like haze me. And he's like, we're not hazing. I go, it feels like hazing to me. It feels like, you know, if someone, if someone, <laughs> if one person is like touching you or pulling your hair and the other person smacks you in the ass, that's to me, that feels like hazing. You guys know what hazing is. And I'm like, look, I'm not trying to be gangbanged by anybody. I'm good. You know, I don't want to be. And then Hawks goes, hold on a minute. I would never do that to you. I would never hurt you in that way. And Toshinori is like, I would never hurt you in that way either. Why would you even think that? Do you think we're like those kind of monsters that would do that to you? How can you say you love someone and hurt them that way? And they said, this is only going to bring us closer. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. And Toshinari is like, let's try something. I'm like, try what? He's like, let's play a game. I say, what kind of a game? And like this smile curves on his face. And I'm like, okay. I go, how about we play later? I'm going to, I have to go. And they're like, where are you going? So now they're following me. And I'm like, I'm going to, I'll be back. So I go back to my room. I like lock my, lock my door. And I'm like, okay, so I have to deal with this. I have to deal with, um, because I know this feeling comes from, it, it comes from something. It is not about them. I don't have a problem with either of them. The problem is with me because of things that's happened to me. Am I going to tell them? Maybe I'll never tell them, but I'll probably tell you guys at some point because I, I think I'm ready to talk about it now. I just need some more time to, to, you know, I just need some more time to cope with it and deal with it. And then I can, and then, you know, I'm never telling them though. Like not ever. Like, I don't want to repeat it. If I say it out loud, I only want to say it one time. So I'm only going to tell you guys because it matters. They can't, nothing can happen. I mean, nothing can't, can't anything change. Sorry, that's wrong. Nothing can change what happened. Okay. Because it happened already. And, um, Honestly, like, I don't know whose fault it is. I can't say that. Um, so the situation is because of the way that it was. It's, it's hard to explain. I'll explain it anyway. Again, I'll probably, you know what? I'll probably do that in my next video. Maybe I'll share what happened to me and why I don't like the hazing they're doing. Even though they say they're not hazing. I know they physically, they would never try to hurt me. I think I know that deep down. Sometimes I snap. <laughs> okay, I just go off on people for no reason. It wasn't on purpose. I wasn't trying to like just yell at them. And um, anyway, I'll probably share that with you guys, but I'm not really looking forward to saying that with those words out loud, but 
Yeah. How long was this video? I have no idea. I told you guys this video will be a little bit long. I tried to cram all of what happened in one video. This is really, this didn't happen in this one, you know. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. If you hated it, um, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when other videos like this become available. Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm not ready to go yet. I feel like I'm ending this video so weird. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to end the video and then. You know what? Yeah, I'll do another video. Oh, I'll do another video. Next time, I'll tell you guys what happened to me. I'll tell you what happened, okay? Yeah. Do that later. Don't, I don't want to end the video, but I guess I have to now. Um, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.